Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. I'm Only doing. for exercise. <laughs> yeah, we're happy to have that fixed, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. We have been waiting to have that fixed, but it is good to go. So we are ready for tomorrow when we finally do the final exam review. Hello, good evening, everyone that just joined. Hello, Alhanda, hello, everyone. Good evening. How are you today? Good, very good, thank you. And you, how are you? I'm doing good, doing good. Okay, Almost good. finished. We just have two more days to go. Yeah, yes. And then you will have a little bit of time to rest before the next module. Ah, uh, yeah. And you know, uh, may maybe the next model is a different teacher for you. Yes, probably. Yeah, probably. Because um, I'm not sure. I don't know if we are going to keep the same groups. It might be different. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Good. It could be. We don't know. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We will find out. Hopefully, we'll be together again. Okay. All righty. Hello, everyone that just joined. Good evening. Hello. How's everyone doing? Hope you are doing well. Hello, Katia, Marixa, Juan Jose, Roberto. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, hi. Good evening. Let me start by sharing my screen to okay. our agenda. Yeah, okay. Today, we okay. will review the, yep, almost done. We will review our final topic, which is the future continues and future perfect. So when we're talking about perfect tenses, you already know that we use the have, right? We use uh -huh. this auxiliary verb. When we're talking about the future tenses, whether that is the future perfect, whether that is the past perfect, the present perfect, we'll always use have when we're talking about uh, perfect tense. Okay, all time when we talk about that, the, yeah. uh, the present is have. Um, when we're talking about the perfect tenses, yes. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it can be present, uh -huh. past, um, or future, Perfect. Okay. Always use okay. the ox verb have. Uh -huh. So we can say I have, um, and we can also use it for the, and in this case, future continues. Okay. I, I see that some of you already started doing the exercises. So okay. you know what I'm talking about. I will have mm -hmm. started, mm -hmm. etc. Right? Yes, yes. By next year, I will be done, and this will be future perfect. I will be done studying future perfect continuous. Right? Okay. Future continuous. Perfect, okay. we'll use have. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we don't really need to. Okay. We will get into more rules on how to complete those tenses by watching a video on the platform. And I also have some practice that we're going to be completing with will and going to and some of the differences on how to do that so that we okay. can listen to some more examples. Okay. Then we will go into the platform and we will do our knowledge checks. We'll do our knowledge check. This is our final knowledge check for the module. And to finish with the topic, 
we will do a conversation. We will practice a conversation. Everyone will have an opportunity to read. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Sound good? OK. Perfect. All Sound right. good. Cool. So it is 8 with 5 minutes. Let me mm -hmm. go ahead and share a different screen so that we can start by watching a video with some examples, with an example conversation, just like we did yesterday. We will not watch the entire video because it is very long. We will just watch some uh, a part of it to review some examples and so that we can listen to the way that we can use will for the future. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's listen. We will listen to about uh, maybe until here. Because you already know how to do, how to form sentences with going to, right? You've used going mm -hmm. to in the past. Mm -hmm. All right. So we will just watch the section about will. Let's go. Okay. I will get the door. Thank you very much. It will probably rain. Let's get out of here. That will be $20. Here you are. I think you will need a medium. Okay. I will take them to your room. That's 501. Going to. All right. So those are pretty simple examples, right? On mm -hmm. using the simple future tense. This is basic yeah. future tense using will. You already mm -hmm. know how to use going to. So mm -hmm. here we have an interesting example. It will probably mm -hmm. rain. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're talking about predictions. Mm -hmm. So that means that we can use will to talk about things that can happen or that could mm -hmm. happen in the future. Yeah. We can use will to talk about predictions. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to be reviewing right here. Mm -hmm. Predicting the future with will. Let me share the full screen again. No. We're going to be talking about the way that we can predict the future using will and other ways that we can talk um, about the future. Under the ocean. Won't. Future continuous and future perfect. Don't forget to study and practice with a friend. Predicting the future with will. Use will to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Use future continuous to predict ongoing actions. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. There are many ways to describe the future in English. This time, we will go over three future tenses. Number one, will, won't, plus base verb. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Number two. Future continuous, will be plus present participle. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Robots will be performing most factory jobs. Number three, future perfect, will have plus past participle. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure of baldness. By the 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. It is important for you to know the future continuous describes an ongoing action and future perfect describes something that will be completed by a specific time. Note 
Future perfect needs a date or time of completion, for example, within 20 years, by 2025. Alrighty, so let's go back a little bit. Let's okay. start from the beginning right here. So we have three examples on how we can use will to, pre I'm sorry, how we can use the future with will and how to predict actions or events that are going to happen in the future, right? So yeah. who wants to help me read and practice this usage? Okay, me. Go ahead. Okay. Use will to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. All righty. So here, we are using the future simple, right? We mm -hmm. have will plus the base verb. What is the negative form of will? If you want to say a negative tense. A negative sentence. Won't. Uh, in, in that case, computer won't. Right, won't. So we can yeah. use will or we can oh. use won't, right? The yeah. negative form. <clears throat> All righty. Who wants to help me read the next one? Future continues. Sure. Go ahead. Yes, future continues to predict ongoing actions. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Thank you so much, Roxana. That's right. So future continues. It means that it is happening in the future, right? It is continuously happening. It won't happen, but it will happen. It's safe to say that it will happen and it will happen for an amount of time. So it won't be a one-time event, mm -hmm. but a period of time where that will happen. So people will be living in cities under the ocean, not one day, not for a month, but mm -hmm. they will be living and we don't know for how long, right? For an yeah. undetermined amount of time. Mm -hmm. And for that, we will use will, and we will use verb, the verb with ing form, as we do with the continuous tense, right? Any continuous tense, we will use ing. Okay. Who wants to read the last one? Um, use future perfect to predict, predict actions that will be completed by a certain time within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities in Mars, on Mars. Thank you so much, Maritza. That's right. So for the future perfect, we need for that event to happen in the future, but it will be completed. So it will happen and then we are done with that. So within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for, for baldness. You discover something and then you publish it, it becomes a product or whatever, right? But you only discover it once. Or by uh, 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. So we will have successfully achieved mm -hmm. to have a community on Mars. They will continue to live there. They will continue developing, but the first time that we do it, that's a one-time event. So we will have set up. Let's review a rule on how we need to form that sentence. The tense that we need to use is the past participle, right? So we will use will plus have and the past participle. So if we have a regular verb, we will use the same past tense or irregular verbs, their past participle, right? That depends on the verb that we are using. We'll have discovered, we'll have set up, we'll have studied, we'll have worn, right? By, mm -hmm. um, 
my next birthday, mm -hmm. I will have worn my what red dress, right? Okay. I will have worn. Will plus have and the past participle. Mm -hmm. Where is the meaning of worn? Worn is the past participle of where. Uh, es la conjugación en el participio de where. Mm -hmm. I will have worn. Mm -hmm. well, Recordemos que el Los past participles de los verbos, pues con la práctica y con el tiempo se nos van quedando de los que son irregulares. Uh -huh. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? No. No. All good? Yes. I have a question. Yes. And there, when it says we will have set up human communities, it's like to improve. It's like what? Improve. Um, we'll have set up. Habrán, se habrá logrado colocar human communities on Mars. O montar human communities on Mars. O puede ser establecidos. Se habrán establecido. Yes. Ok. O puedo decir, o podemos pensar simplemente, este, tendremos comunidades de, de humanos en Marte. Yeah, that's right. O sea, recordemos que es, no es una traducción literal, right? Porque si decimos uh -huh. establecidos, established. Uh -huh. um, however, sí significa todo lo que ustedes acaban de mencionar. Que van a haber, que van a haber establecido, uh -huh. que existirán, que estarán. Yeah. Right. The most important is understand. <laughs> That's right, exactly. Yeah, yes. Okay. That's the most important that you understand and that when you're speak, uh, when you're talking to someone else, they are able to understand what you are saying so that you use the right words so that other people can understand you. Mm -hmm. All righty. And then in the video, we reviewed this additional rule. Whoops. For the future perfect, we will need a specific time or date of completion because it will be done, right? By that time, it will be done. And for the future continuous, it is an ongoing action. So we will always use the... Uh, I'm sorry, we will always use the present participle, and that means the verb in ing. We'll be leaving. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We'll be leaving. Mm -hmm. We'll be performing. We'll be studying. Mm -hmm. As in continuous tense, right? Yes. All righty. I yes, think that yes. most of us have that rule pretty clear. As I said, I know that uh, some of you have already finished uh, with the test. So we are just doing a review at this point. But maybe for those people that have not yet done the test, we are reviewing all the topics and just checking if you have any questions. But is everything good? Anyone have any questions up until this point? Hasta aquí. Okay, sure. Sí. Uh, I don't know, but it's a little, it's diff, uh, um, it's, um, what is the word? Little different in between uh, all tenses. Uh, I don't know if, if in the, in, when I speak, if I can use the, the correct, tense when I speak it's difficult for me to uh, uh, know to what tense is, is better for for the future event that 
I, it's difficult for me to identify what is the better tense for each, each of them. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I know exactly what you mean. So it is difficult to kind of understand the logic of when we need to use the future simple, the future continuous or the future perfect. That happens a lot with practice. And when we start thinking in English a little bit. So in Spanish, we say things like, decimos cosas como que ya para el otro año ya voy a haber terminado. Ese es el presente. Eso es, eso es un futuro par, en, con, usando el participio, right? Pero en español no nos podemos a pensar, ah, estoy ocupando el participio del futuro perfecto. Son los mismos, yeah. son los mismos yeah. tiempos. Son exactamente right. los mismos tiempos. So, as long as we get used to thinking in English and we're not translating the sentences, mm -hmm. but we're mm -hmm. thinking, okay, so by tomorrow, I should have finished cleaning the house or I should be done um, doing the laundry, right? Tomorrow I will go to the supermarket, right? So you haven't completed it. You don't have a set date and it will just become a little bit more natural. It's something that happens with practice generally. Alejandra, I, 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 maybe, um... I I say something, but I, I need to uh, tell me it's okay or not. Uh, for me, the key, for example, is the key is where I know when we talk about the future, where or going to. Yeah, for me, I think it's easy. But for example, I uh, can I think, for example, when I listen or I hear about the ING living performing in that moment, I know it's continues because it's living, performing, um, and uh, making, cooking in that, when I, when I listen, this, uh, uh, this IAG in, in the moment, I, I think, hey, that uh, this guy is talking about the, the in action, right? It's happening right now. But when I listen, when people talk about a you they have, Ah, okay. This guy is talk about that. That perfect. It is. It's a good, a good key to understand what people talk about and use uh, different sen uh, uh, tenses uh, to different uh, simple, continuous, and future perfect. I don't know. If, do you understand? Yeah, I understand you. I think it. Whoops, I was muted, sorry. Yes, I do understand you. Um, I think, yeah, it's a good exercise if you want to um, locate or if you want to understand the, sen uh, the tense that mm -hmm. other people are using, that's super great, it's excellent. And yes, listening for the ING is the easiest way to locate if someone is using any continuous tense, right? Future, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. present, past, continuous. Um, however, uh, as you get used to talking in English and you want to make it be natural, you're not gonna be thinking about what tense people are talking in, right? Yes, um, yes. But I think it's great practice for you to um, understand what tense it's, is being used. I just mm -hmm. wouldn't recommend thinking about it all the time when you're having a conversation because you can forget what you're talking about, yeah. right? Okay. But it's Thank great. You Thank you. Awesome. Okay. All righty. Let's go ahead then and let's do a brief exercise on what we just reviewed. We will talk about the predictions here in this exercises. We have six exercises and we will use the correct future tense. We will use future simple with will or won't, future continuous using ing, or the future perfect using have in a specific time. So we just have to type the verb in the correct tense. That's all we have to do. So who wants to help me read 
this exercise. <laughs> Who wants mid, to read that? Mid, mid, mid yes. term. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. In 10 years, flights from New York to Tokyo will take less than two hours. All right. Is that correct? Will take? What does everyone think? It's correct. Yes. Will take. <laughs> All righty. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. What about number two? Who wants to read number two and try to answer? Yes. Uh, Sunday will sell computer that can translate perfectly from one language to another. Soon we will sell computers that can translate perfectly from one language to another. All right. What does everyone think? Is that right? Is that yes. correct? So, we'll sell. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do the next one then. Number three. Teacher. Yes, please. Number three. By the middle of the 21st century, scientists will have discovered a way to prevent aging. Aging? How come to, to pronounce this word? Aging. The aging. That's right. What's the meaning is aging? Aging means to get old. Yes. yes. Oh, thanks. Envejecer. Mm -hmm. To prevent el para prevenir el envejecimiento. Yes. All time young. <laughs> El so so we'll have thing. this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Is that correct? We'll have this covered? Yes. Yes. I heard it. Nice. Because you discovered one time. Right, you discover it one time. Number four, who wants to read? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Sometimes in the future, scientists will be inventing a machine that does need to talk. Sometime in the future, aquí ignoremos, ignoremos esta S, por favor. Sometime in the future, en algún momento en el futuro, Mm -hmm. Scientists will be inventing. Is that what you said, Katya? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. A machine that transmits our thoughts. Is that right? What does everyone think? Is that right? Yes, I will be inventing. Nice. So we don't know when exactly, right? It, we just know that sometime it'll happen at some point. Okay. What about number five? Who wants to read? Me. Go ahead. Okay. Within 50 years, people will have on the moon. In will have lived on the moon. We'll be, we'll be living. We'll have lived, we'll be living, we'll have, what do you think? What does we'll, everyone think? We'll be living. We'll be living. And they will continue to be living there. They may continue to be living we'll there. We'll be living. So, Alexander, we can't say that they will have lived. Because that's within 50 years. Uh -huh. So, dentro uh -huh. de 50 años. O dentro uh -huh. de los próximos 50 años. Ah, uh, in those, uh -huh. But uh, my, my um, decision is because I think, A, hey, it's exactly a time, a specific time. But, but when is the, is, is the, uh, is the continuous, this, uh -huh. if for that that's reason, right. Mm, okay. When we use within, we're talking about dentro de, 
o dentro de unos 50 años. Mm -hmm. Ok, perfecto. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. And finally, number six. Who wants to read number six? Um, I don't know if I can again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No worries. Okay. Mm -hmm. In in less than a century, global warming will have melted most of the polar ice caps and many coastal cities will have disappeared. Thank you so much, Roxana. So in less than a century, global warming will have melted most of the polar ice caps and many coastal cities will have disappeared. Mm -hmm. Coastal cities, cities that are right next to the ocean or right next to a lake right next to any body of water so we'll have melted is that right mm -hmm. but I, I have a question in that it it... yeah okay uh, in that case but in less than it is uh, for me is it's not exactly a time because it's in in less than a century but it gives you a due date Da una fecha de caducidad. Like it, it has to happen by that date. So you need a set date. No es tanto de que sea exacto de que tenga que ser una fecha, sino de que tenga que pasar para entonces. Right? So I will have worn my dress by my next birth birthday. No puede mm -hmm. pasar después de mi cumpleaños. En cambio, within 50 years, People mm -hmm. will be living on the moon. Dentro de los próximos, right? Ni aquí, ni allá, pero dentro, en algún momento, dentro de esos 50 años, people will be living on the moon. Okay. No dice que va a terminar de mm -hmm. vivir. Mm -hmm. Pero in less than a century, it will have melted and mm -hmm. things will have disappeared. Entonces, mm -hmm. eso va a suceder una vez y va a pasar ese, ese caos and it mm -hmm. will have happened by then. Mm -hmm. Como que le pongamos una fecha de corte, right? For yes. it to happen. Okay, okay. I need to read and practice and practice and practice. Yes, yes. Okay. That's really the key. Es practicarlo y practicarlo. Y vamos a ir aprendiendo más situaciones en las que se ocupa el, el perfect, en qué situaciones se ocupa el otro. Um, it's really a lot about reading. Realmente nada les va a dar más contexto on what to use and when to use it then mm -hmm. reading so that okay. you can understand what types uh what types of situations need mm -hmm. for that to happen so let's check okay. and you are right so yes these are the correct answers for this situations does anyone have any questions with this exercise? Alguien que tenga alguna pregunta, any observation, question, comment? All good? All righty. If no one has any additional questions, we will go ahead and move into our exercise for today. This will be our final exercise of these because tomorrow we are going to be working on our final test, finally. So today, sorry about the noise. <laughs> you already know that's my dog. Sorry about that. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, when I did uh, this exercise, in number five, I write, we live. I don't know if this is correct, but the platform for the platform <laughs> is correct. We live. So the reason that that could also be correct Sorry. is because that also means that by that time, they will be there. Right? No le estamos poniendo una due date. Lo que no podríamos decir en este caso es will have lived. Porque no, no ha terminado, pero will live 
That's fine. Or we'll be leaving. That's also correct. And be both. They could be both, yes. Okay. Mientras comprendamos el sentido de que sucederá en ese momento y no estamos diciendo en ningún momento que va a terminar para tal fecha, right? So, they mm -hmm. will did or they will be leaving. Okay. okay. That's the reason why. Excellent question. All righty. So, for our next exercise, I have a couple of conversations that I want us to practice. Pero quiero que participemos the, as many of us as possible. I want as many of us as possible to participate. And we don't have enough conversations. No tenemos enough conversations. So what we're going to do is que les voy a enviar este documento a, acá al chat de Teams. The Teams, I'm sorry, the Zoom. Mm -hmm. Y si gustan, también se los puedo enviar a WhatsApp. Let me send that to WhatsApp as well so that you can have it handy if you need it. And we are going to open breakup rooms. What I want you to do in those breakup rooms is practice those conversations. So we will uh, go into groups of three people or in couples. Nos vamos a dividir por parejas o en grupos de tres personas. Creo que somos 17, so I think we will be couples. Um, porque yo no cuento, right? Y yo voy a ir escuchándolos de breakup room en breakup room. Los voy a pasar escuchando a todos para que puedan, para que veamos que todos estemos practicando. And then, solo let me share it over WhatsApp para que lo tengan también. And we will go from there, right? So, ahorita les va a caer en Zoom su notificación para unirse al breakup room y lo que vamos a hacer es que si ustedes ven en la conversación son conversaciones de dos personas so each one of you takes a person toman una persona para cada conversación and you read the conversations el objetivo de esto es que practiquen um, pronunciation practiquen fluidez y practiquemos ocupar will and the future tense right so Ahorita les estoy enviando el ejercicio a WhatsApp también para que lo tengan. Y ahorita les va a caer la solicitud de unirse a los breakup rooms. So let's go ahead and create it and accept it. And we'll start practicing the conversations. Yo voy a pasar por todos los breakup rooms un ratito para ir escuchando sus conversations. Let's go ahead and start joining the breakup rooms. Hello. Hello. Amilcar, ¿se encuentra por aquí?
Number four, yeah. Hello, this is Paul. Can I speak to Queen? Hello, Paul. This is Tara. When is Arot it's out for lunch? Do you want to leave a message? Mm, let's see. Will she be back by 2 p.m.? No, she won't be back until 4. She said she will do some. Continue, continue, please. Okay. Hello, Paul. This is Tara. When is our when is out for lunch? Do you want to leave a message? Mm, let's see. Will she be back by 2 p.m.? No, she won't be back until. She said she will do some. She will do some shopping after lunch. I see. Can you tell her to call me later? Sure. I will let her know that you call. Okay. Perfect. Congratulations. <laughs> um, let's go to read the number one and I will read the story. Okay. It's Friday. Okay. Okay. It's Friday. Oh, it's Friday. What are you going to do this weekend? Oh, it's you finish? I have a message. Okay. We can do this exercise. And uh, the other Friday. What did you go to the, this weekend? Friday is going to visit me. I think we will have dinner together. Nice. Will you go to that Italian restaurant? No, we won't. She doesn't like Italian food. All right. We are going to do that. The number two. Yes. It's okay. I'm going to be Brandon now. Yes. Okay. That unit is so difficult. The test is tomorrow. I think I am in trouble. Don't worry. I will help. I will help you. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. I will meet you at the library after school. Um now and number three, you are going to first. Oh, okay. Rami, will you help me? Get the door. I'm working on something. Sure, I get it. Who was it? Osman. Guess what came in the mail. <laughs> okay, the dialogue yeah. four. I'm I'm going to be Paul or Tara. Yes, you you're going to be Paul. Yes. Paul. Ah, okay. Hello, this is so again. <laughs> it's Friday. What are you going to do this weekend? A friend is going to visit me. I think we will have dinner together. Nice. Will you go to that Italian restaurant? No, we won't. She doesn't like Italian food. Dialogue two. That unit, that unit is so difficult. The test is tomorrow. I think I'm in trouble. Don't worry, I will help you. Thank you so much. No problem. I will meet you at the library after school. Rami, will you help me get okay. the door? I'm working on something. Sure, I will get it. Who was it?
the postman. Guess what came in the email? email. Hello, this is Paul. Can I speak to Gwen? Hello, Paul. This is Tara. When is out for lunch? Do you want to leave a message? Mm. Will she be back by 2 p.m.? No, she won't be so far. She said she will do some shopping after lunch. You tell her to call me later? Sure, I will let her know that you call. Okay. On the exercise, complete the plans with the present simple, present continuous. Might be going to and will will to talk about plans. Use the verbs in the box. Use each tense once. Okay. Number one, what time? What time? Um, we are going to watch the TV film tomorrow. tomorrow. We will go in. We will, no, perdón. We will, what, yes, we will, we will go to what? watch the film tomorrow. Yes, we will go. Your idea is awesome. You, you, Writing down. I I my, will. You write might write it down. You might write it. You might write it down. Yes, that's right. Okay. Ya no saco, creo yo, no. No sé. <laughs> okay, continuemos. Prediction. Complete the blanks with might. Be going to and will to. In the first one, what time will go? No, we'll meet your friends at the library. Will be a start. First can be what time are you going to study with your friends at the library? You will you meet you will meet. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Did hello. you have time to practice? Yes. Were you able to make conversations? How yes. was it? Yes. Good. 
I, I like it. I I talk with uh let me see the name, the Juan Jose. I talk many, many things. <laughs> nice. That's good. That's good that you're practicing. That was also the point that you could just have a conversation as well, right? If in case you finish the exercises so that you could talk a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. All right. So I think that we are all back. I think that there are no more people in the breakup room. So our final exercise for today will be um, a reading. We will finish practicing today by doing a brief reading. We'll take the last few minutes of our class to do the reading voluntarily, right? As just as uh, whoever wants to participate. So this reading is titled The Global Village. And we will start reading right here. Me. Go ahead. The Global Village. More and more often, the term Global Village is used to describe the world and, this, and its people. And it's people, that's right. Thank you so much. I see Rigoberto's hand is up. Do you want to read next? Just sure. Nice, go ahead. Read this section. It must be as everyone knows everyone else and the people face the same kind of problems. Thank you so much, Rigoberto, that's right. In most villages, right? Villas, pueblos pequeños. Okay. Where is the correct pronunciation of that? Villages. Villages. Okay. Thank you. All right. Who wants to continue reading up until people? Yes. So how can the war be a village when it's home to more than 6 billion people? Nice, Roxana, thank you. Next one, please. Who wants to read? Me. Go ahead. Okay, political and technology and text, no, technological, technological changes in the past century have made the global village possible. Technological, I don't know. Tell me, please. I need your help. <laughs> technological. Ah, technological. Technological. Thank you That's very right. much. Technological. Okay. Technological. Technological. Thank you so much. That's right. Okay. Great. Let me zoom in a little because I think this letter is smaller. Okay. Who wants to continue with this section? Hi, teacher. Go ahead. <clears throat> Political change the year following for World War II seemed to promise peace. In fact, in 1945, the United Nations was founded to help countries resolve disputes peacefully. Thank you, Mirna, that's right. So let's read political changes. The years following World War II, in this case, Primera Guerra or Segunda Guerra, we read World War II, uh, seemed, to uh, seemed to promise, seemed to promise, prometer, right? Mm -hmm. Peace. In fact, in 1945, the United Nations was founded to help countries resolve disputes peacefully. Disputes. Dis disputes. Disputes. Thank you. That's great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Who wants to continue reading, please? Me. Go ahead. However, this promise was soon broken by the Cold War distrust. Uh, in tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. Thank you so much. All right. Mucho ojo porque ya escuché dos personas. This word is pronounced promise. Promesa. Uh, this promise. Promise. 
promise. Mm -hmm. promise. Promise. Nice. Okay. Promise. I need you to promise me, right? Okay. 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 However, this promise was soon broken by the Cold War. Distrust, falta de confianza, desconfianza, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Distrust mm -hmm. and tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. Okay. okay. Mm, let's do the whole thing right here, mm -hmm. please. Uh, oops, but I covered it. It's the whole thing. Who wants to read? These two super superpowers engage in an arms race, sparing huge amounts of money on weapons. The other nation of the world were divided into two sides, and the world was frozen in a state of hostility. Thank you so much, Ivania. Thank you. So, these two superpowers engaged in an arms race, spending huge amounts of money on weapons, armas, weapons. weapons. Okay. The other nations of the world were divided. Divided, divididos, right? Divided into two sides. And the world was frozen in a state of hostility, or hostility, that's right as well. Alrighty, and I think we have, uh, no, I don't think we have time. Nope, we're almost done. But I think we have enough time tomorrow before we start doing our final test review to complete this. Because um, those of you that have already started working on the final test, you know that it's not long. It's not uh, gonna take us the whole hour. So we will take some time to practice to make sure that you understand all of the exercises that um, you feel safe with the knowledge of the module and that you have completed all exercises so that tomorrow you can successfully finish the module and you can be done with it and you can have some free time before the start of the next module. So we will finish the reading tomorrow and complete our um, final test. So I'll see you tomorrow to finish, oh, you see, completely finish our module. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.